Yo! You'll be the life of the party. So, sorry I haven't been updating my vlog. I know it's been a hot minute, but two weeks ago I got to work at the YouTube space here in New York City. And after meeting and working with all the wonderful talent there, I am now like refreshed and reinvigorated to be the world's first uh, stenographer YouTube star. Yeah! So, as you know, towards the end of last year, I started a programming project called Loft, and it's been getting a lot of attention, like, not only in the stenography world, but also in non-stenographic context, so I thought I'd make a little video that kind of explains what it's all about, because y'all keep asking. A lot of people think that stenographers only work in legal contexts, so like depositions or courtrooms, but actually most of the work that I do is either doing conferences or classes for the deaf and hard of hearing. So fundamentally what a loft is, is a text streaming app that allows a real-time stenographer to send text to devices. And it could be through the internet or over a local network. So traditionally, the deaf or hard of hearing client would read the captions produced by the stenographer off of their computer. So they would sit right next to the stenographer so they could so both of them could read off the same screen. But nowadays the preference seems to be heading more towards device-based captioning. The stenographer will hand the deaf or hard of hearing client a device that is wirelessly connected that would receive the captions. So they would no longer have to sit right next to the captioner. They could go anywhere in the room and they could read you know, the text. And because Aloft is platform agnostic, like you can use it on any device that runs a modern browser basically, you can do really cool stuff with it, like put it on Google Glass, or maybe put it on like an iPod Touch and like, like strap it to your arm if you like are operating camera equipment or something. But like you can design a whole page that has your company's logo on it and you know, hook it in. Or say you have like an event that you need to caption that is like live and they don't have any embedded captions, well, you can easily just cook up like a really simple HTML web page that bakes in the captions right underneath the video. Like, there's so many different things you can do with it. As one of my friend Ricky noted in her videos, um, people who use captions typically are about five seconds behind. So any sort of delay in that process is excruciatingly frustrating. For the deaf person. And a lot of these commercial deposition real-time apps that court reporters use have delays built in them because sometimes the court reporter doesn't want the text sent out right away in case there are mistakes and they want to make sure they can like have that little buffer time to fix it before the text gets sent to the lawyers or who knows what reason. So Loft uses a true like WebSockets like connection meaning that changes and additions to the transcript are sent immediately. Um, as they're received. Another way that Aloft differs is that uh, it also serves as a transcript repository. So when a captioner has like different events going on all at the same time, they can be listed in a public directory so that they're easy to find and the users don't have to remember like the exact title you use for the job to find the web page displaying it. Um, and then say someone viewing the captions arrives late or whatever, no problem because the entire transcript is available at all times. All you have to do is turn off auto scroll and scroll up and it's all there. Right, that was a quick lowdown of Aloft and if you want more information you can read the full blog entry I wrote about it which I'm going to point to a random spot here. The thing that I'm really excited about is that I've just confirmed that two of my colleagues, Norma and Chase, and I will be using Aloft to provide live transcriptions of SourceCon this year, this summer, which, like, yes! I am so stoked. But anyway, so I'm actually hoping to roll out with a subscription version of Aloft soon this summer once I finish coding the plugin for it that'll let it communicate with any, like, uh, StenoCat program out there. I hope that was helpful and see you next time. Peace.